Sarah, is it just feels right to see you in the supernatural realm. So what was it about Wolfpack that really grabbed you and made you not only want to star in it, but also executive produce? I think I love stories that make you feel something and that talk about using these monsters to sort of explain the things in our lives that we don't have explanations for. And I loved that Jeff really wanted to tackle these topics of anxiety, isolation, just the fact that as we become more and more digitally connected, we're becoming more and more emotionally disconnected. And just the, you know, the father-children relationship is so beautiful and just sort of how complicated all those relationships are. And um, in terms of being an executive producer, for me, it was about environment and protecting the story. I think that the best way to protect the story you set out to make is to be able to have that voice and for people to have to listen to that voice. I love that. And Rodrigo, another like interesting aspect in the show is that there's the like found family aspect of your character finding these werewolf pups. What did you find most interesting about that theme in the show? I think that the fact that Garrett is a father of these two uh, kids that have a very specific condition. Uh, the, my approach to this character is that even if they, let's say if they're werewolves or they could have any kind of uh, special condition, so it's a father that needs to take care of two kids that need special care. Uh, so uh, my approach is very much very on a human level, even if it we're not talking about uh, like a genre, uh, what is the style, what is the language, what's the tone of this uh, project. I think the, the, uh, what really calls my attention are the relationship between the characters. Uh, Garrett specifically to his kids and then uh, 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 Sarah's character when, you know, when they meet and the whole situation, the, what they have to go through and uh, their relationship, I was going to evolve throughout the season. Forget normalizing I anxiety. That. I want to normalize men doing laundry. That's what I've just decided. Your character when it has the laundry basket. Why yeah. do I, I I'm love just saying. doing laundry? Why not? That's why I signed on to the show, to normalize men doing laundry. Right? More and more. <laughs> more and more. You know, in, in the first two episodes, Sarah, you know, we see glimpses of Officer Ramsey, but viewers don't really have the full picture yet. There's so much uncertainty, you know, in the show. So how fun as an actress is it to kind of play around with uh, viewer expectations? It's fun. You know, there's a little bit of that I'm... I want everyone to understand that you're correct. In the beginning, you are only going to get glimpses, but there's a reason I'm there. Both, there's a reason Kristen's there and there's a reason that Sarah is there. And you just have to be patient and wait for what that is. Um, but in the beginning, it was really fun for me to play such a linear character that has one motivation and one motivation only, which really is just to find the arsonist. There's no stakes in it for her. And that makes sort of an interesting you know, dichotomy and duality than the other characters who all have great stakes in mm -hmm. the beginning. And then, Rodrigo, my last question, uh, your introduction with the forest fire is so intense. What did you like most about just how Garrett is introduced to the audience? I like that he's, uh, his life is, is threatened, uh, as it will be throughout the whole show. Uh, he's in a situation, a, a very vulnerable uh, situation, and he reveals uh, something uh, about himself that I think he, even Garrett is surprised by what he's saying. It's probably the first time that he needs to put in words his feelings uh, for his kids. So um, I love that that introduction because it's it's, it's it go right straight to the heart of the character. Um, that's you know going back to what I was saying before. You know, it, it, yeah, we, wi wildfire, werewolves, uh, genre, all that is surrounding, is, is being used as a metaphor to discuss, you know, um, the human condition, anxiety, you know, isolation, just like she said before. And that's a very fragile moment for, for Garrett. And it starts with that. So I, I love that about him.